Donald Trump doesn't know how to pick a good attorney. And typically, that's a not good thing for anybody in this country. But when you're somebody who's facing as many investigations and as many potential criminal charges as Trump might be facing, you tend to want to hire the best there is. And he's got the money, so there's really no reason why he's not hiring good lawyers. He just isn't. And here's what I mean. Obviously you have Rudy Giuliani out there who makes things worse for Trump every time he opens his mouth, but his other lawyers, the ones who are actually handling some of the business cases up in New York, just keep absolutely stepping on their own feet in their legal arguments. Uh, earlier this week, we had Donald Trump's lawyers go into court while they're appealing a case. Uh, because the Democrats in the house trying to get their hands on Donald Trump's tax returns and his business tax returns. So Trump's lawyers, after losing the case a week or so ago, walk into the appellate court today and say, listen, we won that case. We actually won the case that we are appealing because the plaintiffs or excuse me, the defendants, uh, agreed that a lot of our reasoning was sound. Therefore, appellate court. We won and you have to say that we won. That's their legal argument. They appealed the case because they lost. And in their appeal, they're claiming they actually won because the other side agreed with a couple of points that they made in court. Now, I don't know how many people have experience in a court or with lawsuits or with any kind of criminal proceedings. But uh, typically there are times when both sides actually do make good points that make sense and are truthful. That doesn't mean that both sides get to claim a victory. The judge in the case specifically said, hey, president of the United States, you're not above the law. They have the authority to subpoena your tax returns. They use that authority. You have to hand them over. And somehow Trump's legal team went into court and said, yeah, that was obviously we won. We're appealing it because we weren't happy with it, but obviously clearly we also won. I don't know if Donald Trump understands the implications here, right? I, I almost feel a little bit of sympathy for him at this point because his lawyers are so grossly incompetent. You don't go into an appellate court and tell them that you actually won the case that you're trying to appeal. They're not going to buy that argument. And if in fact that is your rationale for the appeal itself, it's going to get thrown out on its face. Then you don't even have the opportunity to actually make your case in front of the appellate judges. That's what's at stake here for the president. His lawyers are so awful that they're already tanking this case before the appellate judges have even decided whether or not they're going to hear the actual arguments. Because if you walk into a court and say, listen, judge, those other judges, they agreed with me. Yeah, I wasn't happy with their ruling, but they agreed with me and they thought I won. So let's go ahead and call it a day. Yeah, you're going to get thrown out of court and your client, in this case, Donald Trump, is going to be very screwed. One of our video sponsors today is Impeach, the card slap game, which you can purchase using the links at the top of the description of this video. And when you check out, use code ring of fire, all one word to get 10% off your order. Now Impeach, the card, uh, card slap game is perfect for anybody who is not only tired of the Trump administration, but who also wants to share a little bit of information about Trump with your friends, because not only is this a fun game to play at parties, the cards actually have direct quotes from the president himself and stats about his presidency and his policies. So not only can you have a lot of fun with your friends playing the game, you actually learn something from it as well. The reviews on both Amazon and Etsy are phenomenal for this product. People love it. And part of the fun of it is that you finally get to actually slap 
Donald Trump, something a lot of our viewers I'm pretty sure have thought about, except now you can do it in the comfort of your own home around your friends. So again, follow the links at the top of the description of this video and use code RINGAFIRE to get 10% off your order of Impeach the Card Slap Game.